Hey, yeah, shout out to Good Hits TV, you feel me? <laughs> Definitely. Oh! What's up, Good Hits gang? You know what we're about. We're bleeding the block for the best in underground hip hop and rap here in New York City and beyond. You're now listening to number one, yeah, you heard me, number one rap and hip hop channel on the tube. We got a special treat for you today, just like these barbecue fries. Big Chiefs out of East New York is in the building. The guy behind Red Boy shit, most recently Jealousy, a song with Trizzy Grams called Talk Sports, is in my apartment talking about business, culture, music, and the state of affairs in New York City. So y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, you're back with Good Hits TV. You know what we're about. We're bleeding the block for the best in underground hip hop and rap here in New York City and beyond. We're with none other than the man himself, Big, Big Cheese. You know what we're about. You know what we're doing today. Talk sports, yeah. So, fresh off the single, um, Jealousy. Hey, up early morning. I'm on a prowl like the great white. Fiends keep calling. Um, that shit was fire, first of all. Um, the, I guess the first thing, just for, for maybe people who don't know, like, where are you from? Where'd you, where'd you grow up? Man, I'm from Brooklyn, East New York, for me. Born and raised. Oh, you, so like you were that. born and raised and lived there your whole life? Straight like that, like, for me, like, when my mom and dad split up, I was back and forth from Brooklyn, Brownsville, like East New York area to Albany type shit for me, back and forth, mom yeah. house, dad house for me. Yeah. How, like how do you think like East New York has changed over the past few years? Well, like, front, like I'm not gonna front. It's been a lot of gentrification for me, but for real, like it's like visible, like you can just see, like. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. For me. Prices went up. Prices done went up, man. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. Prices done just. I went guess up. if you if you own the property, then like that's a good thing. But yeah, if you're just trying to live out there, that shit sucks. Everybody's leaving New York now, bro. Everybody, it's, everybody's leaving New York. Rent's going up. Yeah. Especially this year with the fucking coronavirus. Shit, Weed's man. going up. Like. <laughs> going up, bro. So when do you start rapping? To be honest, bro, I don't even remember when I started rapping, bro, but I can, I remember the day like it was just yesterday, bro. I remember the day like it was just yesterday. I was at my cousin's crib, Doinks. I was with Doinks, for me? But yeah, I definitely heard of him. Yeah. I was at my cousin Doinks' crib, for me? It was a couple of us there. For me, like, he had the little personal home studio. For me, he had the personal home studio. He was, he was one of the... Only people I really, really did music with, like, we really experiment, like, bro, we used to experiment with the T Pain app, bro, like, damn, that ass, damn. like, he got mad. Was this like in high pain. school? Like, type shit, bro, before high school, like, damn. type shit, you feel me? My son Andy used to be, I'm not gonna front, my son Andy was rapping heavy, too. Yeah, so, but you would say, like, within the past couple of years, you started taking it more seriously, shooting visuals and. Definitely, yeah. definitely, like, so. definitely, bro, like, my son Doinks and, like, other niggas around me, like, sir, like, a small few people around me, like, made me take it more serious, for me, because, like, like, that's how I really started, like, when my, when my son Doinks and, like, my other brother, my son Zoo, like, these niggas was, like, really doing this music shit, bro, like, they was really doing this, like, people around knew them for doing the music like for me like and these is my brothers like for me so i used to just try to push them and push them like for me mm -hmm. to a point where i just felt like yo like i wanted for them so much that maybe i just wanted for myself for me yeah and it was that real like for me and then like boom out of nowhere and i'm just rapping for me. damn i'm just rapping like rapping on beats and i'm for me going to the studio <laughs> with myself yeah. Yeah. spending all my money yeah for me. Shit like that, bro. People don't realize, like, people who aren't, like, really involved in music in any way don't realize how expensive it is to fucking go into the studio and make a song. Oh, that's not Imran, though. Yeah, no, dude. that, 
Bro, people don't understand how hard it is to, to make, make a music. song. I know. They bro, think it's so easy. It's they think it's wild. just go there. Da, 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 for me, it's not, bro. Like, it's, it's not, bro. Like, you might not even like the way your voice sound, bro. You go yeah. in the booth, you might even not like the way your voice sound. Yeah, it you might not. Like it's not gonna sound the same way. Sound the same way that it sounds in your head, bro. Like, <laughs> that That's ass. So true. I've learned that. It's that so fucking true. Um, speaking of that, like. I feel like so you've been rapping for kind of for um, two years. How do you think your sound has changed? Do you think your sound has changed from your earlier earlier stuff? To be honest, like I feel like your rap recently has been more like hard hitting and like more like trap, maybe even a little drill mixed in. And I feel like it's it, that's a good thing. Like I like that's where you excel. Would you kind of agree that it's, it's changed a little bit? Definitely, definitely. You know what it is though, like. When I first started rapping, I was like, I was a, I always wanted to like just try to rap on anything, like anything, like any type of be like, the fucking the ice cream man coming by. That's song. I'm just trying to rap over anything, bro. Like GTA songs is playing. I'm just rap over. I'm trying to rap over. I'm gonna song. I'm gonna call my boys. Fucking songs is playing. I'm trying to rap over this. This for me just to see like, yo, yo, yeah, niggas is fucking with this. He's like, yo, bro, like. Like, what you doing, like, for me? And, like, it was just a little shit like that, bro, that just made me, like, yo, do music, bro. Like, yo, look at beats. For me, to a point, bro, I'm up late with, with Wafy, and I'm listening to beats, and I'm just yeah, just, just trying to spit shit, bro. I remember one time, bro, first time I tried shrooms, bro, my my baby mother, my Wifey, and, and, bro, I'm just... I'm just off it, bro. I'm just off it. Like, life is brave. You listen to music, and I'm just spitting, bro. Like, dude, yeah. I'm just spitting, bro. Shrooms are wild. Yeah, definitely, that. bro. <laughs> definitely. And I only tried it like twice in my life. Yeah, this shit's crazy. For me, but it's really an eye opener, bro. Like, yeah. It's really an eye I remember in high school when people like in the lunch tables when people would, like make those beats on the tables and you start definitely with the pens <laughs> or in the class with the yeah. pens, yeah. like. This shit was funny. Definitely. And then, bro, bro, shout out to my son, Allen, bro. My son, Allen, the guy. Bro, I used to be in school. This thing used to fucking do the little beats with the pens, bro. <laughs> bro, I used to get in mad trouble, bro. Make funny ass songs, bro. Like, And it was just little shit like that, bro. I never peeped where, you feel me? Like, yeah. it's all like, this is, this, this is all, this is all fucking, what's that? Like, this is all adding up. Like, you feel me? Like, there's little pieces of puzzles that, like, yo, niggas just rap already, like, feel I me? Mean? And I never saw it. Do you, so do you consider yourself, like, a full-time artist, kind of? Or I feel like you're you're somebody who does, like, a lot of different things. Do you consider yourself, like, a full-time artist? Or are you more, are you interested in, like, business and doing other stuff? Fashion? Um, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely a full-time artist. Well, I try to be, because, like... Yeah, I feel like that's a good thing, though. Like... Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm an artist for me. So I can't say I'm full time. Cause, bro, I'm the type of person, bro. I try to figure out any way to make a dollar, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to sell anything, bro. I'm trying to sell whatever, bro. You gotta like, get that breach, man. That ass, like <laughs> shirts, sweaters, anything. I'm selling it, bro. Hats, anything. I'm gonna try to sell it, bro. Yeah. That ass. I feel. Like- I ain't gonna sell my shit, but. I'm gonna definitely sell it. I'm gonna definitely sell something. Like, I'm but gonna I, something I, I I'm do gonna think it. it's cool to be able, like a full time artist because it's like it's so hard to like make it out of New York as a rapper unless you're like putting in the hours. Cause there's just nah, so many- yeah, bro. But think about it. You can't put in the hours unless you got the money, bro. Like, like this is yeah, one thing I say. That's I, true. This is one thing I say a lot, bro. Like nobody's gonna believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. You feel me, bro? You gotta believe in yourself so much that. Niggas is gonna believe in you, like niggas gonna be like, what? This nigga's wildin', like, and that's just how it is, bro. So, like, you can't just be putting in all these hours in the studio. Like, who's paying for all these hours? Yeah. Keep it, keep it a stack. Who's paying for all that, these hours? That's in the so studio? fucking true, and it goes back to what we first talked about, where it's like people don't realize how expensive it is to put out a song, because it's like you got to get it engineered, you got to get it produced. And then you also gotta shoot the visual, like it, exactly, it's, bro. And like, if you think about it, bro, like most of all my my first videos, bro, it was it's like throwaway music, bro. Cause I was just 
going recording, not even getting shit mixed, just shooting videos for me. Yeah. And that's because I was just doing shit that fast, bro. I was recording shit as fast as I was living, you feel me? Like, yeah. No funny <laughs> shit, bro. And I was just doing it, bro. And like that part, like that part of me helped me learn what I was doing, bro. Like, I'm over here making music, bro, and I'm doing videos to it, but at the end of the day, bro, like, the music gotta match the video, you feel me? Yeah. Like, niggas not gonna just sit there and watch, you feel me, anything. Yeah. Like, nowadays, that's what people doing, bro, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be better than the last person, you feel me? Like, and that's it's all I so try true. to do. I try to be better than myself, you feel me? Like, I always up, try to uplift myself and the people around me, you feel do you, me? Do you consider yourself, like, a trap or a drill rapper? Like, either of those, or do you, would you not want to, like, put yourself in a box? Because some people are, like, proud about it. They're like, I'm a drill rapper. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I see that in interviews. People are like, I'm a drill rapper. Be like, I'm a me, trap rapper. I'm not even, a, bro, I'm not even a, I'm not a drill rapper. I'm not even a rapper, bro. I'm a, for me, like, I'm all about bread, bro. Like, for yeah. me, like, I'm an investor. I'm a, for <laughs> me, like, that's the type of nigga I am, bro. Like, yeah. for me. So you wouldn't call yourself a trap rapper? Because sometimes when I listen to your music, I'm like, this dude's, like, a, like a dope trap rapper and, and I feel like there's not many in New York cause everyone wants to be a drill rapper right now bro I had to I had to I had to get out the trap bro like, <laughs> I had to get out the trap bro like that's it I feel that yeah that's that's, that's interesting but I try to make music that my people could relate to you know what I'm saying like so, as somebody who's, like, lived in New York all, all your life, and somebody who's obviously listened to a lot of rap and hip-hop, do you think, like, the sound in New York has changed over the past, like, five to ten years? In terms I mean, of rap? I mean, definitely, bro, but for me, like, I know I'm not the only one that think this, but for me, Pop brought it back the way how it was before, like, for me, like, he brought back the New York, like, for me, yeah. That ass, the yeah. last and the last person That's to really do true. it was like fifty, like yeah, and and so I I just feel like that UK drill beat is just so common now, like nah. the pop smoke style like beats, you know what I mean, bro. But you know what it is, UK been been the home of the drill, like you feel me? Yeah, they it's have when, some good music there. It's when Chief Keef and certain people made it. You feel me, Chief Keef? Feel me? Yeah. It's like a rowdy Bobby Schmurda, like it's certain people who really like really made drill rap what it is today, like yeah. you know what I mean? And I don't even I don't even call myself a drill rapper, bro, cause I just I just try to speak on beats, bro, like feel me? What I live or what my man's live or like what people can relate to, you feel yeah. me? That ass. Feel that. I feel like one thing about your, like, unique about your style and your lyrics is, like, you talk about, like, you got the talk sports, you got the route boy stuff, and it's like you have your own brand, kind of, like. Nah, yeah, bro, like, like, that's, that's exactly what it is, bro, like. Rub boys. Money, huh? Really on that trap shit. Well, that Niggas wanna talk. Uh, yeah, I really play the back, bitch. I be in the spot, huh? Flip my whole brick, huh? Uh, like, yeah, Rub tell boys. The like, tell the supporters, like, what, what that is. And all, and, like, Bro, Rub boys is a, Rub boys is a lifestyle, like. That's what it is. It's a lifestyle. For me, it's, it's to be a hustler and to, to, you know what I'm saying? To invest and give back. What you get, what you putting in, you know what I'm saying? Damn. And that's exactly what it is. Like, people think it's a gang, it's a, you feel me? Like, and, like, that's, a, to be honest, bro, that's, like, how I fell out with a lot of, a lot of my brothers, a lot of my friends, bro, because we had differences, you feel me? We had, yeah. like, we were seeing differences, bro, like, that's what I see, you feel me? But, you feel me? Yeah. I can't really get into it too much, but. Yeah, yeah, no, bro, I, I but get that. That's what it is, bro, it's a lifestyle, like, you feel me? It's a brotherhood, it's a. It's, Damn, a, dude, it's a symbol, deep. bro. Like, for me, it's a symbol, bro. Like, and that's the that's the lifestyle I live, bro. For me, like, that's the lifestyle I live, bro. That's the lifestyle me and my brothers live, bro. But it's a group. It was a group thing, bro. Like, for me, no, that ass. That we ass. came up with that shit. That's me, cool, dude. Like, you have that do the dope chain in one of your songs. I, I forget if it's like talk about it or something like that. The route boys chain, where it's like a a highway sign. Mm -hmm. It's like a chain, dude. That's like fire. I need to copy one of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need to get one, bro. Like, I mean, it's supposed to be a lot of niggas with them shits. I mean, yeah. I ain't getting one of them shits. 
That shit's fire though. What are so, like what's some artists and stuff that you've been listening to in the New York area? Like rappers. Like have you been li- like, like underground or like what do you mean? Underground. Let's start with underground. <sighs> like people I know or just like. <sighs> um, people you know. People you know. People I know like. I be listening to. I be listening to my son Trizzy Grams. That's my brother. Dude, right you got us. You got that song together, man. Nah, yeah, like that's that my brother. Right there, you feel me? He just came home. We just came home from six. My son about to you feel me do a lot of big things, bro. Dude, talk sports is probably like my like favorite song. That song is like actually your block some holes in that's crazy, back. bro. It's crazy. That's like that's my second sports song. Because like, like I got another. I dropped the. A previous song called Talk Sports with my artist, shout out Jay Chronic. For me, and from that shit did a lot of numbers too. And it was produced, it was it was a beat produced by one of my boys from Ohio, my son Thomas. Damn. Shout out my son Revenge Thomas, for me. That that's ass. that's fire, dude. Dude, what is Talk Sports? Talk Sports is like it's a slogan, bro. Like it's like Route Boys, it's a slogan, you feel me? Damn. It's a slogan, you feel me? It's a clothing too, like Talk sports and route boys, bro. Like big chiefs, talk sports, route boys. Like that should go a long way. Like I just made that so a lot of my niggas and my brothers could just capitalize off. You feel me? Like that's why I say it so much. That's, it means a lot to me. Like feel me? Like I get goosebumps talking about this shit. Like damn, shit. dude, that ass, bro. Like feel that's me? awesome. That's actually fucking dope. Nice. Dude, out of all of your songs, like you you were talking about some of your songs earlier, like wh- which one's probably like your favorite one? I think for me it's Talk Sports. That's out. Yeah. Like feature or no feature? Like it's solo. Solo. Um. Do you talk about it so dope? <laughs> Nah, like that's my that's one of my favorite videos. Like in that, I that was shot by Akeem. Shout out my son. He did a, yeah, he did a really good shot. Yeah. Like that, um, the one shot with the red car. It's like like a movie. It looked like a fucking movie shot. Bro, yeah, my son be shooting movies. <laughs> my son Akeem be shooting movies. My but my favorite song I feel like is like is Governor. For me, it's Governor. Like I really fuck with. How I came on that on that song, like, like oh, I try to be versatile. I don't know if I've heard that. It's on your YouTube channel, or I don't even I don't even remember if I dropped. It. I think it I dropped the I think I dropped the song. I think I dropped the song on like a on like an EP. I think. Yeah. But I I recently did the video, but I never dropped it. It's on my YouTube page. Yeah. But yeah, like I really fuck cause like like I know how to rap on drill beats, but like I'm I like to really like. Do my own type of sound, like you feel me? Like I feel like that's big. Yeah, I, I I totally agree with that. It's like everyone wants to do like the same beat right now. So if you're bringing yeah. something different to the game, it's like that person's gonna stand out for sure. Um, do you have any like songs or like features coming up in the next month or so? Um, I got a feature. I got a couple features. Like I got a feature with my son Bobby Nice. Free my son Bobby Nice. Like yeah. my son Bobby Nice. I got some shit coming with him, feel me? I got some shit with Lil Got It that I never dropped, feel me? I don't even know if I'm gonna drop that, to be honest. I got And I got an open verse from him, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do you see yourself dropping? Like, we were talking off camera about how, like, artists, like, hoard songs, and you were saying you have some sar- songs, like, you have some ammo. Do you, do you see yourself dropping, like, the next few months, like, a bunch of songs? Um, like... I was really thinking about that too. Like, I was thinking about if I should drop straight singles or I should drop another EP. But I'll probably drop another EP of the old music and then just yeah start surprising people with with singles. Yeah, the, I I just feel like in a we live in like a music world now where like everyone drops a visual. Like no one drops EPs anymore. It's like you got to drop a song and a visual. It's I mean like. Do you remember growing up, like, it was all about the album? Like, you fucking, like, listened to the nah, albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, now it's just, like, you get on YouTube and you just, like, watch a visual and listen to music. But I feel like it's because a lot of people lately, a lot of underground, a lot of underground rappers been blown up with, like, videos and shit. Like, 
I feel like that's what it is too. Mm-hmm. Like, or they, or people just feel like they can be heard more if they were saw. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. instead of just audio. You feel me? Like, that's true. I feel like that too. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's. I want to go after every aspect. Like, I want to drop music. I want to hear feedback of my shit. I want to shoot videos for me. Like, there's some songs I won't even shoot videos to. Yeah, I feel like you should just keep dropping the visuals because they just keep getting better and better. Like, Jealousy was, like, actually... is actually nuts. You were saying that you want to you wanna do a remix of it or do, like, another video on it. Yeah, I wanted to, like, probably remix it and do a remix with my brother. Zubank. Yeah, dude, that'd be, that'd be dope. So your your brother raps? Um yeah, he raps. Rap. Damn, dude, that's that's wild. I got I got three brothers that rap, bro. Holy shit, uh, <laughs> dude! You guys can make like a fucking rap group. Uh, <laughs> That'd be dope, dude. Like, uh, there's just this year's just been crazy, bro. And like, I feel like you're probably one of my last interviews of the year. Like, any thoughts on like coronavirus and? <laughs> <laughs> just how crazy the oh. Trump election, like, just so much fucking crazy shit, man. This shit is wicked, bro. This shit just <laughs> told me, bro, this shit just told me, like... Like, did you ever think we'd come to a point in society where we're wearing masks? Like, a not, few months later? Never. <laughs> never, bro. I never, never thought it would come to this. This fucking... Bro, crazy. and to be honest, bro, it's, it's looking like it's about to get real serious, bro. Really? It looked like it's. Well, it's getting like worse, like the whole Corona shit. I don't know, bro. It's the yeah. government, bro. I feel yeah. like the government just taking over. Yeah, dude. To be it, honest with you, it's a, it's crazy living out here, dude. I was I was on I was looking at Instagram and that LA trip was like crazy. Can you talk about like what all like what were you up to out there? It looked fucking fun, bro. Bro, to be honest, I, I shot a video out there. For me, after I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a little rough draft what I got or whatever. For me, like you had a videographer out there. Yeah, like I had a videographer her name Nat. For me, that's my first time shooting with a female too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. my boy, my boy Jamal, my boy Jamal, to me with that. I mean, shout out my son Jamal with the fuck J. At the, yeah. with the fuck J for me. <laughs> Dude, that is that. fucking fire. You got a visual out there? Yeah, bro. When, it, when is that dropping? I don't even know, bro. I didn't even I didn't even get the whole visual. I just got like a yeah, little rough draft. I can't wait to see that, dude. Keep me happy. Um, that's dope, man. Um, like, I guess to kind of end everything, like, what what are, what are some of your, like, future projects? If you talked about the LA visual, do you see yourself having, like, an album or some more visuals in the next few months? Like what? Are, what are some of those like future projects that like your supporters have to look forward to in like the rest of this year in twenty twenty one? I mean, I already know I'm working. I just gotta look out for everybody else that's coming out with me. For me, like my son Doinks, my son oh, Tracy yeah. Grams, for me Jay Chronic, Took the Boys. For me, it was my dude, you gotta do another song with Tracy Grams, dude. That was nah, like a good day. bro. Bro, I got plenty of songs. I got plenty of songs with my brothers, bro. It's just how we going for me. How we going let y'all hear it for me? Yeah. How we yeah. going let it unfold to y'all for me? Like, do you see yourself dropping videos on like, like one of those bigger platforms like Flowtastic or Raps and Hustles? Would you consider, or do you like putting it on on your channel more? Nah, yeah, definitely. Like Flowtastic, Flowtastic from my hood. Like for me, like I'm really in tune with that type of shit. Like. Before yeah. the videography shit, before I was rapping tip shit, like, yeah. I was supposed to drop jealousy on his page actually, like for me. Yeah. But I felt like I'm gonna just drop. It. I feel like I should just drop it on my page for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's coming. That's that's coming in the future. You feel me? Like all that's coming in the future. Like. Damn, damn. All right, man. Well, is there anything else? Any shout outs? Any plugs that you wanna like? Mm-hmm. Where could people find you on social media and all that? You can find me on Instagram at. Underscore Big Chiefs RB. I mean, for me, you can follow Talk Sports, my page, Talk Sports. Shout out John Cintron, too. Yeah, definitely <laughs> shout out John Cintron. I <laughs> mean, definitely shout out John Cintron. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, all right. Shout out Raw Boys. Shout out Talk Sports, the label, you feel me? Ain't throwing no muffins, I hit you, doom. I'm really in tune, I be with the goons. And they gon' pull up and put you in the tone. Hold up, big chief. Show them how we really move. Ooh.